some about apostles in the church. You know, it's funny, man. This guy, you know, I work for this guy. He's an honorable man. And uh, everything was great. And this co-worker came back off an of injury. And, and then kind of feel like they got buddied up on me or whatever. But he's a shammer and a schemer. He drinks moonshine at work. Um, he's been put in charge of some money at church. And all he does is cuss all day and says this and that, but runs around and smokes dope all day long. I'm exposed to that darkness. You know, you're a sheep in wolf clothing. And he has no integrity. Uh, he was cheating on his wife and coming to work. And he's telling me some nasty stuff that I didn't want to hear about what's going on with some lady in the bathroom at his work at this other place that he was working at for years. I mean, how can you go to God's house and sit there and talk to me about cheating on your wife? Um, and it's just all pride of life and lust. And then when I would quote some scripture to him, he don't even, oh, I don't know that. That's because you don't spend any time in God's word and you don't know the Lord. And you're a fake and an imposter. Whether you like me or not, dude, the truth sets you free, and you are not truthful. You're a liar. And you want to know something about lies? Little man, call it like it is. He, he, he. They have legs. And they always catch up to you. Your darkness, pride of life, your lying, your sneakiness, your cunning, your craftiness is all going to be exposed by the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, you may claim to be his son, but you do not honor him in any shape, form, or fashion with your life. Therefore, depart from me. I never knew you, workers of iniquity. You ain't got no power because you don't know the Holy Ghost or the Lord Jesus Christ or walk with him or spend time with him daily. You're so full of pride and you're so selfish and you've pulled the wool over that one man's head that I respectfully served, honored, and had no issues until you came around, devil. And I'll call it like it is, Satan. You'll get behind me in the name of Jesus. And the way I left it is the way I serve. And you want to know something? I'm right here for you, uh, bro, bro. I'm right here standing by because the truth will set you free. And you're going to see, my man, the truth. It's going to come to light. You're going to catch him doing whatever. He's cunning and crafty. He's whatever. But I knew right away, based upon my law enforcement and military experience from day one, what he was doing on the job, popping in pain pills, and all oh, my this and that, complaining, spirit of lackadaisical. Give me a break. You're a little wussy. I'm a man of integrity. I'm an honorably discharged United States veteran from the 82nd Airborne Division. I spent 10 years, six as a lieutenant, with the United States Department of Energy Headquarters Protective Force. I provide a security for Condoleezza Rice and have a Secretary of State coin in my house. She told me, have a nice day, Lieutenant Redding. What a blessing. I'm a two-time American Ninja Warrior. I've also went out to New York City and got with my buddy, Chris Young, super producer, who I love. Best friend, friends of this day. The music's still out there. MC Soho, son of Holy One. Reaching and equipping our youth and future leaders with God's word for the form of the form. Reaching and equipping our future leaders with God's word for the through the form of holy hip-hop. Now let me explain something to you. Everything that I just said was all to the glory of my blessed Lord Jesus Christ, to my Father God, because I work for Jesus, I work for God, and I do the very best I can, and then I work for the boss, and then I provide for my family. What have you done, little man, with your life? Where are your kids at? What responsibility, what, what, I can't hear you again? Because I call like it is whether you like it or not. I'm here to not be loved but cause conflict. Because wherever Jesus went and preached the truth, some liked him and some didn't. And the truth will make you free. And that's the truth. Oh, he says, my feelings are hurt. He's so stern. I'm not a feeling police. Get over it. Be a man. A man up to your responsibilities. Because everything you've done in dark is coming to light now. And the Lord said, vengeance is his. He will repay. Vengeance is his. That's why I rest in the Lord and leave it all in his hands. And ain't sweating nothing because he's got this. My blessed Lord has got this. I put it all in his hands. You ain't got nothing and can't do nothing in your own power. You're a schemer and a fool. Talk about stuff. You're wicked. <laughs> but I ain't worried about it, man. It's the last little bit I just want to share and expose. Because 
you're wrong. I'm gonna go to church and play church and not be church. That ain't cool, man. And you, and you know, everything happens for a reason. God's in control. You're not. The other dude's not. Nobody is. God is, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> what you think of me? Because I know what I know what I know. That with a pure heart I served diligently and I did the very best I could do and I gave my all. And that's where I leave and I shake the dust off my feet and I move forward like my man Nate from NF said, Nate Fierce, green lights. And if you ain't about that real, don't talk to me. I talk to God like he's next to me. I'm just fulfilling my destiny. I ain't going through no motions. One love in Jesus. Pray that you could come to the light, repent, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and getting that word and actually know who God is instead of talking about, I don't know that, but a duh, that's because you don't know him. If you did, you wouldn't live the lifestyle that you do. Peace.